Hey, this is Paul McClendon with Opmancic. I'm a support engineer at our North American offices based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Today I'm going to show you the new Opmancic Getting Started wizard for getting OP charts, Inmis, and our other Opmancic applications set up and going faster. This wizard is designed to help guide you through the initial steps of a new installation. To get started, you're going to navigate to our OMK page. To get to this page, you're going to type in your server's IP address or fully qualified domain name with a backslash OMK. This page is useful to keep track of which modules are up to date and which needs to be updated, but it also has our new feature, the simple configuration wizard. To begin, you're just going to go ahead and click on the link, simple configuration wizard, and you get a welcome to the configuration wizard. You're going to go ahead and click this get started button right here. From this page, you can set your administrator password for Enmus. If you wanted to keep the default, that's completely okay. You can go ahead and just click next, which is what I'm going to do here. Here, you're going to make your base server settings. You're going to add the server name, the primary Enmus server, and there's a description of what each of these are underneath. Moving on down, this is where you're going to go ahead and set up your email servers. You add your mail server, your mail server port, the mail user, your mail password, your mail sender address, and all of these have a description underneath of what it's looking for. Once all that's set up, you go ahead and click Next. And here, you can quickly add nodes to Enmus, which can also be later synced for OP config and OP events. To add a node, you're just going to click Add Nodes. We're going to name this VM node because this is running off of a VM I created. Host name IP address, we'll just put in the server's IP. Let's do SNMP version 1. The community string. Here it's public. You can assign it to a location. Uh, we'll just keep it as default. And you can also assign it to a group. And I'm going to keep this as the Inmus 8 group. And click OK. And you can see here we have the VM node at 192.168.0.105, which is my server. And you can also delete or remove devices here as well. Once that's set up, you have your email in there. You have your default admin accounts. You have a few nodes populated already. And you have a, uh, a simple setup configuration already good to go with Enmus. And that's it. It's just a quick, simple configuration wizard meant to help you in getting your initial installation up and running smoothly. Thank you for your time.